to the Boomer Briefing Podcast, where we help you solve a critical business issue in 20 minutes or less. Hi, my name is Sandra Wiley, and I'm the president of Boomer Consulting. Today, I'm going to talk with you about technology and how we can help clear the roadblocks and be and create less burnout in our firms. Boy, um, if this is not a to- to- topic, pardon me, for the the world today, I don't know what is. Um, the reality for us is that burnout is huge in our profession today. And I believe that almost every firm I have worked with has been trying desperately to figure out how to alleviate some of that burnout. This could be a topic, honestly, that could truly uh, be around uh, and we could go for hours. Today, I'm going to really just take the piece that I want to talk about which is about technology. How does technology help us to alleviate some of that burnout that's out there? Uh, First and foremost, I would tell you that it's all about flexible schedules and flexible work arrangements. You know, the reality is today, as we all know, uh, COVID really helped us push forward, even though some of us were doing it before, but it helped us push into the world of remote and flexible work. Whether you're working from your office, from a Starbucks, from a library somewhere where you can get a lot of peace and quiet, whether it's your home uh, or whether it's the beach, I've seen a few of them on the beach, technology has to help us be able to and prepare us for working anywhere, anytime. And the technology is there today. We have to accept that. We have to train on that. We have to teach it. And a lot of it has to go back to, we have to make sure that it remains very secure. So when we're thinking about all of that, I want you to think about some of the roadblocks that you as a technology professional could clear so that people could actually really buy into the flexible work environment and really help them to be ready for what's out there. And I'm not really talking about at this point just the hardware and the software that we're using, I really want you to think about um, how you as a professional could clear some of the roadblocks of fear, the technology itself, expertise, and process improvement. All of those things are things that you can help with. So let's talk fear first. Simplifying communication to help you and your team understand and buy into why flexible work time is so important and why it is a possibility, not just a, I have to, but it really makes us more productive. It makes people happier. It motivates them to work. Those are the kind of things that you as a professional can help to strategize about the messaging and really help that happen. Can you, can we do more with the same amount of time? Of course we can. Because we might give people, if they're working flexibly, we're going to give them more time to be really into and really laser focused on the projects they're working on. Again, that's a message that IT or or, uh, technology professionals can help to solidify. And we can also look at sitting down with people and really looking at how can we automate some of the tasks that they're doing today that are not really that helpful. They're things that can be automated that can make their life easier, which flows right into process improvement. How can we make the processes that they're involved with better? I remember there was a time when our IT professional sat down with me and watched me work for a while. And after we'd sat there for an hour or so, and literally he just kind of observed how I work and and what I was doing, he said, I think I can give you back some of your time because he saw things that I'm not sure I would have even asked about. So having some time for your IT professionals to actually work with and see what people are doing could really be helpful. In the technology area, obviously, look for tools um, that maybe you already have that could be used in a more efficient way. Uh, You hear hear it all the time. We have all this great technology out there, all these wonderful solutions and systems, We use this much of this much of the product. And so the more that we can really look at using our tools that we have deeper and in a better way might really be helpful. That's something that you as an IT professional can really help with. 
You know, one of the things that I would also tell you just about expertise, you as an IT professional have expertise that we do not have. You're going to be able to see things through different glasses. Uh, as I look at things, I look through talent development, learning and development, uh, and a manager's eyes. You will look through it with the eyes of a technical expert, as a tech technology expert, um, and you will be able to see things that I don't see. So use your expertise to help really clear some of the time that people are using, maybe on things that are not all that important. Um, and then the last thing I would tell you is make an action item list of the things that are going on um, within your firm today and really strategize with other people from other departments and other niches about how technology could actually help to alleviate the burnout that some people are feeling. This is a topic that is not going away. This is a topic that you as an IT professional can truly help people with and truly create more value with your job and less burnout with the people that you're working with. So thanks so much for joining me today. Listeners, if you enjoy our topic, look out for new episodes every Tuesday morning, and we will like to rotate those topics and the themes. But the common theme among all the episodes is that we believe there are critical to your firm growth and success. So please just subscribe. And thanks so much for listening today. 